I'm in Cape Town at AfricaCom 2017 and I'm here with Parallel Wireless who are going to tell us about some of the innovations they've been making in the area of software-defined radio. I'm joined by Christoph Fitti. Christoph, welcome. Thank you. Parallel Wireless has moved to include 2G capabilities in its technology and I guess that would strike a lot of people as a very sort of 1980s technology. So can you explain that move? Sure. Um, well, Ian, as you know, there's still a lot of users that still rely on voice today. I know that uh, recently the GSMA brought out a report which anticipated that 40% of emerging markets will still rely on uh, 2G um, in the future. And we believe that the cost saving and simplification of our solution would enable mobile global operators to roll out solution and to bring connectivity to these markets whilst enabling a smooth migration to 3G, 4G and 5G in the future. And what are the components of the solution that you've developed? Okay, the components of the, uh, comp the solution that we've developed is the CWS Converge Wireless uh, System Base Station and our HeadNet Gateway, which is the HNG um, orchestrator. Our CWS uh, unit has the RRH and the BBU all in the same uh, small factor. As a result of that, you don't need to have cabinets on the ground. And so this allows for uh, lower uh, site footprint and also reduces ongoing uh, power uh, consumption. What we are also enabled, um, able to do is that with the CWS unit, we can enable mobile operators to actually deliver 2G, 3G, and 4G solutions simultaneously, or they can do this um, independently, really depending on what they're looking to deliver uh, to, their, uh, to their markets in those regions. And what would you say makes the solution uh, unique? What makes it stand out? Sure. And so our HNG unit really is the industry's first um, 3GPP compliant network um, orchestrator. And what we're able to do with that is that we have a much lower RF um, output. Our, um, our units are able to self-configure, self-heal, self-optimize which obviously helps to reduce the OPEX and the CAPEX uh, for mobile operators. So Christoph, you've touched on some of the benefits there, but in what other ways would you say this is going to help mobile operators? Sure. And so with our solution, obviously, the total cost of ownership is reduced for the uh, mobile um, operator. We're able to enable mobile operators to extend um, their network with our software-defined uh, radio uh, unit and also to bring additional coverage um, into those um, areas as well. So, so how do you see the, uh, the African market developing over the next few years, Christoph, and, and, and what sort of role do you see uh, Parallel Wireless playing in that development? Okay, and so Ian, um, we've recently picked up an award um, here at AfricaCom, um, which we're very proud of, and I think it's uh, obviously a testament you know, to what we see as the opportunity here um, in Africa. We are working with a number of operators here in the region um, to bring our solutions uh, to the communities um, that, we are, uh, that we are looking at. Um, a number of operators that have deployed our solutions, for example, in Europe and in Asia and in, uh, in Australia, have seen how beneficial and effective our solution has been able to enable them to roll out and to extend their networks. And is, is, are the experiences that you've seen in those markets driving African operators uh, towards your technology, do you feel? Absolutely. Obviously, it helps when you have big operators, tier one operators that have the confidence to deploy your solution and in our case we are working with a number of global tier one operators and this gives a lot of confidence to the partners that we're working with in this region also to know that our solution is really innovative and is going to help them uh, to extend coverage in their, um, in their markets as well. Okay well thanks Christoph. congratulations on the award and thanks for joining me today. Thank you very much Ian.